in a truly beautiful land. Within our 50 states found counterparts of all the world's natural grandeur. This scenic beauty constitutes one of our nation's great resources, the heritage of natural splendor, which we must preserve for those who come after us. We Americans have made great strides in the protection of most of our natural resources. Under this concept, for example, we raise more wood than we use in the lumber and pulp industries because we grow trees like a crop. To help conserve another vital natural resource, we are also constantly developing more efficient methods to mine and process our mineral bearing ores. Conservation-minded oil companies use scientific spacing and advanced recovery methods in the drilling of wells, thus to ensure the wisest use of our petroleum reserves. We practice the conservation of water resources. For irrigation, which has turned dry, barren deserts into vast productive gardens, When it comes to the conservation of most natural resources, we are a responsible people. We want to conserve our natural wealth. We cannot leave to the generations who will follow us an empty and wasted land. To the best of our ability, we must pass on to them the land of natural riches that we enjoy in our time. But there is one rich heritage that we use in a different, more personal way. This is the America of land and water, the glorious outdoors which we use for recreation. This too, we must regard as a great resource. We all enjoy this scenic heritage in our own way. We may rest our eyes and our hearts by a rippling stream or a quiet lake. We can meet some of the natives, too, remembering that they were here before us and that they have a stake in the future of our open country. We can follow the sun to the beach, or we can enjoy ourselves in a more active way. We can do even better we can capture wind and wave and bring them home with us on canvas. Those without the artist's touch can still capture nature's beauty the simple way. Some of us prefer the quiet stroll along wooded pathways, while others prefer the challenge of an exclusive view. This land of ours, this inspiring resource of beauty and space, is a fountainhead from which we draw new energy and enthusiasm for the tasks that lie ahead. In a large and very real sense, America's scenic and recreation areas are one of our most important natural resources. While we're a responsible people with regard to our tangible resources of forests and minerals, how do we treat this important resource for recreation? We go away from home on a vacation and take a holiday from responsibility. We launch a fallout of litter. problem seems to get worse. 
sadly and ironically because of scientific advances and new improvements in modern living. Trash only becomes trash after it has first served a useful purpose. It becomes litter only after people thoughtlessly discard it. The art of modern packaging has helped to make our outings even more enjoyable. Almost anything we need is conveniently available. But it is these wonderful packages, cans, bottles, and paper containers thoughtlessly discarded, which we carelessly convert to litter across the face of our country. As highway miles increase and roads grow better, wider, smoother, leading to ever more interesting places, more and more of us are taking advantage of our great resources for recreation. Yes, with modern automobiles, an expanding highway system, and an increasing amount of leisure time, we go our happy way, spreading more litter in more places than ever before. And although considerable time and money have been spent to provide roadside litter containers, many a traveler still tries to hit them from moving automobiles. The average motorist for this kind of marksmanship is no Annie Oakley. This is not only a legal violation, but more importantly, an offense to the laws of decency. And not only do we Americans litter public property, which might be considered our own, but we invade private lands as well. You'd be surprised and shocked to find a party of strangers littering your front lawn, yet has it occurred to you that many people will do what amounts to the same thing on private property where they've gone to hike, fish, or hunt. has always had an affinity for a lake or a stream and for the continuing enjoyments they offer. Reclamation projects in many parts of our beautiful land have created scores of new water playgrounds. With a multitude of new marinas available, thousands of enthusiasts have a reason for wanting a boat. The interest in water fun is booming, but so is the accumulation of litter. Water litter is not only unsightly, floating debris can be dangerous, even tragic. And litter can be a very real danger on land as well as water.